Ahoy hoy! About 10 months ago, I made a video called You're Wrong About SCP-173, and it is, I believe, my most popular video on the channel to date. Let's take a look for a second. Yes, it, it has 431,000 views, and I noticed that it was getting an uptick in views recently, and decided that I was going to do a, another video responding to some of the comments made in the first video. So. Welcome to You're Probably Still Wrong About SCP-173. It's one of the very first comments I thought I would uh, address. Um, some of these comments that I've got captured here are pretty recent because it gets a fairly regular views on a fairly regular basis. So what I did here was I grabbed up some of the more recent ones, a few of the older ones, put them all together, but these are generally representative of the types of comments that were on this video. The first one's not even about 173. God, these videos are condescending. Yes, they are. Welcome to the channel, I guess. Uh, one thing most people will learn about me real quick if they meet me or talk to me for any long period of time is that I have a tendency to be a condescending uh, a-hole. So, yeah, that's what, the <laughs> that's what the channel was built on. People seem to uh, not be bothered. Most people seem to not be bothered by it. This person is not a subscriber. I can actually see now if someone leaves a comment if they're a subscriber or not. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. That's a thing. There's a few comments together that are essentially riffing on something that I said in the video, I believe. And that's that really the let's send in a few D class and make sure nobody blinks solution is kind of stupid. I mean, <laughs> you know, there could be a grate on the floor for the junk to drain out of. And if that's not going to work, I mean, this person here. So um, why don't they store 173 in an adjoining cell? Just have it move into the new room, close the door, clean the one it was in, safe cleaning plus profit. I actually thought about this uh, after I think after I made the video that it would be a perfect way to do it. Just lure him into a just, just have two rooms next to each other. Lure him into this room, close the door, clean this room. Next time where it gets the, the gunk gets to a point where you can't do anything about it, lure him back into the old room, clean the old, you just go back and forth. Uh, there was another solution here. Um, why don't they just have some drainage pipes in the floor? And that'd basically negate the whole having to clean on a bi-weekly basis, right? Yep. You could have a system that automatically runs water through the, the thing. I mean, having water flowing at the bottom of the thing isn't really going to affect your kind. Well, no, that's not true. Concrete gets weathered by water pretty easily. So, uh, yeah, so you, you wouldn't need something. You wouldn't really want to move them out anyway, because water, especially water with cleaning fluid in it or clean, any kind of cleaning chemicals is eventually going to wear away at concrete. So you're going to destroy. Oh my God, there's a story there about like the rebar starting to poke out of <laughs> 173's uh, feet because they've been cleaning it so often. <laughs> uh, I hadn't thought of that until just now. Hmm. <laughs> Here's one about me, not 173 again. Is Dr. Sumerian burnt or does he just have one terrible rash? There's a uh, story in the wiki called... Uh, uh, four stories told in order to mislead a sentient severed hand that just wanted to ask a goddamn personal question for once. Uh, took me a second to remember that title. <laughs> that is uh, the closest you're going to find to an origin story for the burns on Dr. Sumerian, which, by the way, I got new merch in. I actually ordered it. I'm wearing the shirt. I'll stand up to the end. Well, no, I'll show you now. You're wrong about this t-shirt and you're wrong about this poster. I really like the poster with the yellow. I think it really stands out. There's a black version I wasn't particularly fond of. Uh, but if you guys think it would be better in black, you let me know. I'm doing a merch ad in the middle of a video. Sorry. But yeah, he's uh, burnt in, in this image here, in that image over there. He's just burnt. And uh, let's see here. My friend thought it would be funny to make a one foot tall model out of 173 out of plaster or something complete with paint and everything during a sleepover. I fucking smashed that thing. Um, you're an asshole and not the fun kind of asshole. That's uh, that's a jerk move right there. I don't know what to tell you. 
<laughs> we don't know nor wish to find out how it arrives. I believe I'd address this in the video itself, but yeah, that was, that's a real dumb thing for the SCP Foundation to say. Like the SCP Foundation saw, sees something they don't understand and like, it's okay. We don't care. Oh, what? Are you, are you serious? That's not how the SCP Foundation works at all, but uh, okay. <laughs> Things that move when you aren't watching them have existed in Toy Story 1 through Toy Story 3. Not to mention, thing, let's just look, Google it. Things that move when you don't look at them. <laughs> well, this is useless. Let's try it. Hold on. Hold on. Myths. Let me Google that for you. <laughs> 10 common myths about using mo You're useless, you Google. You're fucking useless. You're wrong about using Google. Please like and subscribe. Ah. Uh, anyway, there are numerous... I know there are in literature uh dating back to almost almost to prehistory because that's literally as far as literature goes but dating all the way back to the beginning of writing and probably before that because it was probably oral stories then there have been stories of monsters that move when you're not looking at them <laughs> that's sort of the thing like it's a primal human fear it's probably why 173 worked out so well it's just a thing you know what's next I wonder if the use of Untitled 2004, which is the sculpture behind 173, uh, could be considered fair use as it, poten as it is potentially transformational and also does not take away from the original piece. That is not how fair use works because, and this person who's responded here, uh, no, because coming up with a story and attaching it to an existing sculpture doesn't actually transform the sculpture in any way. What it does is it actually puts it in a new context and literally, specifically recontextualizing a piece isn't protected under fair use, like explicitly not protected under fair use. I am, this is a very recent comment, and it's the main reason I decided to do this video, because I really, really wanted to address it. Artists are some of the most insufferable people on the planet. This guy made a sculpture that, yes, was stolen, but which brought him a hundred times the amount of exposure he otherwise would have ever gotten in his life. So we should be thankful that his thing was stolen. The original concept was not for SCP-173, but you know what? Someone found a way to make it into something he never intended, and in doing so, created an entire website of content people enjoy and make secondary content about. As an artist, he should appreciate and be proud that and be proud that something he created has such a profound impact on millions of people. This is every artist's purpose, and he is upset because his specific vision wasn't what ended up doing that. What an arrogant fuck. And by the way, that's him saying what an arrogant fuck, not me responding to him, which would be an appropriate response to that comment, because holy shit, I am so sorry, but no, you don't get to tell the artist who has been stolen from you. Sh Could you imagine you steal someone's? <laughs> um, oh my God. Uh, oh my god, I, I, I saw this. And, and there are so, so many things wrong with it. I almost don't know where to begin. Like, it is... So, let's, let's just start from the top. Artists are some of the most insufferable people on the planet. So, I feel like this guy has an axe to grind already. Some artist somewhere has pissed him off. This guy made a sculpture that, yes, was stolen. Thank you for admitting that it was stolen, at least. <laughs> you brought him a hundred times. You don't know. This guy is a... This, by the way, the guy who made uh, Untitled 2004 is a successful artist outside of anything the SCP Foundation has ever sent his way. He is a, a very well-recognized artist. He does, uh, he does uh, art uh, exhibitions worldwide. The guy does... But he should be thankful for the, for people for people pointing at his art his art and going peanut. That's yeah, that's what he wants. That's what he wanted when he made a piece of art. It's about 
uh, I believe, the nuclear bombing of Hiroshima and was trying to make a message about it. Maybe you should be thankful for it, that he hasn't taken it down. Not, not mad that he's not thankful back that you stole his shit. Your original concept. It was not for SCP-179, but you know what? Someone found a way to make it. So yeah, 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 they did. And thankfully, he hasn't had it taken down. But th that doesn't mean that he owes us anything. Oh my God, people are amazingly entitled to art. Why are people so entitled to art? I, I don't have words for this because it makes me so angry that people feel entitled to steal shit. I guarantee you that this, this design will probably show up on somebody else's store. It will be stolen eventually. It's not that, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to say that it's the best design in the world, but if it sells, people will steal it and sell it for themselves. But <laughs> the idea of, <laughs> the idea that the artist should be thankful for having his shit stolen <laughs> is beyond the pale. I've, I have I have no words for how stupid this motherfucker is. I'm sorry to this guy, but I mean, wow, that is that's that's ridiculous. That, that there there's ridiculous, and then there's ridiculous. I'm not I'm not putting the names of these people in the video because I actually already had a had a had a, a little bit of a, a, a problem recently with uh, putting up a video. Or no, I put up a tweet with a reply to somebody on YouTube, and I, I feel like I have a responsibility to these people not to, like, send hate their way, because, I mean, you, know, you leave a comment, you think you're anonymous, and then I show it in a video and show your name, and people start messaging you or trying to find out more about you. But, oh my god, sometimes people just leave comments that you're just like, that's got to go in a video. <laughs> Why is the title you're wrong about X and not the problem with or story behind? Seems oddly accusatory. Yeah, because people get super offended whenever you say they're wrong about something. So they click. Not gonna lie. Anyway, let's let's I've been I've been scrolling enough, I think, at this point. I've got enough comments together to make a video. So <laughs> thank you very much for watching. If you want to help support this channel, scroll down hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. If you'd like to really help this channel out and maybe get some cool merchandise while you're at it, head on over to the carousel, which is there's a product carousel just underneath the video. You can click on any one of them. It'll take you to my store and you can scroll through any of my products, but some of them are on direct display um, and buy something. I'll tell you right now, I bought this shirt and I bought that um, poster back there. I've got a hoodie coming in sooner or later. The important part for me is that I really think that the quality, like for example, I bought this at Walmart. Hold on, let's see. I bought this at Walmart uh, on a whim because I just felt like I needed something on this both shoulders and I'd already bought this, but it hadn't come in yet. This is a much higher quality poster than this is. Just straight up. And this shirt that I'm wearing right now, I've got a, I'm mic'd up here, so I don't want to move it too much, but this shirt right here, which says you're, eh, I'm not gonna be able to show you the whole thing, but you're wrong about this t-shirt, is, uh, is also of higher quality than I was ever expecting. Definitely higher quality than something I would get at Walmart, which is where I get my clothes because I'm poor. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I really think that the quality, so far I'm getting a hoodie, I'll see how that looks too, but the quality of the products that these, uh, that Teespring produces is, uh, I'm I'm happy with them. I've, I've, I was thinking about possibly going to other stores too and starting some stuff up there just, just to see, but with the quality of the products that they're putting out, I don't just see much of a reason to switch. And plus I got the carousel. I don't think any other products can be in the little thing underneath. Um, finally, if you really want to support the channel, we had a few patrons drop off because of this SAP wiki making it so that I couldn't sell commissions anymore. Uh, well, I mean, I can sell commissions. I just can't, they just can't be posted to the SAP wiki anymore uh, because of a new policy. So I did lose some patrons this month. It's nothing's too serious, but I, if you want to help support the channel, you can always head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level.
Thank you for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. And I'll see you all again on Thursday.